okay so let's go for inches and then 12 inches by 15 inches and let's click create okay so the first thing that we are going to do is import the first image of Bellingham so I'll go into my folder and then click and drag this photo and then place it in Photoshop so I'll place it here and do a small resize and all right now we are going to clean the base of this image so let's go to the layers panel and then click layer mask grab the brush tool from the tools panel right click and then this pops up then you select the soft round brush or you can go to the brush menu or go to windows and then brushes and it will appear all right the panel will appear then you click on general and then grab the soft round all right now with that you have to make sure the foreground is black so that when you clean you hide pixels okay and if you want to bring them back make sure you have the foreground white and when you clean over you bring them back without doing any undo so i'll make the foreground black because i want to hide pixels and then make sure you have the flow reduced then you come and brush over the areas that you want to hide okay so i will do that very quick all right then let's go to the tools panel and then grab the rectangle tool which is right here you right click you have a bunch of options you click the rectangle tool and then let's go and draw a rectangle okay so let's go to the layers panel and then send it to the back so i'll drag and drop it below the player's image which is bellingham i'll grab the move tool and then adjust the position but i think here is okay so let's go back into our folder and then grab this second image and bring it to photoshop drop it here now I'll resize that i'll grab the edge here and then drag it in to resize it and then place it on top of the rectangle that we did then on the layers panel i'll right click on the new image and then select create clipping mask to put the picture inside the rectangle that we did now with the image still selected let's go to filter camera raw filter and then from here let's increase the texture then after that let's increase the clarity you can keep it at plus 58 and then the haze can keep it at plus 29 then from there let's go and increase the exposure a little all right can you add 0 0.5 click ok now let's go to the bottom of the layers panel and then click on this icon and then select black and white so you can see that the image has turned to black and white okay then from here make sure you clip it to the image all right only the image then you set the rest to 91 and then the yellow you can make it negative 12 then you leave the rest all right so that's what we have now let's go and click on this image now i have it selected so i'll hit ctrl t and resize this picture once again link to the resources in the description kindly check it out so after that i'll click the first image and then select the layer mask grab the brush then resize the brush because you can see that the image that's behind is appearing in his shirt so i'll clean over that with foreground white because i'm revealing pixels to hide the one behind then on the layers panel i'll select the layer below it which is the black and white add a new layer and then grab the brush to increase the size and then grab a foreground black okay so i'll pick black from here and then start adding shadows behind this image okay if the flow is too low you increase that if it is too high you just tweak it to suit what's good okay so i'll just do that really quick uh, adding shadows so after that i'll just go and select the image layer and then grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle so it will come on top of this first image right here so we have a new layer on top of that then i'll go back into our folder with resources and then grab this image and then bring it into photoshop paste it right here right click select flip horizontal 
and then let's resize the image and then place it on top of the rectangle and once again we are going to put the image into the shape so let's go and right click select create clipping mask and then we have it inside the rectangle and then from there we go through the same process so let's go to filter and the camera raw is the first option from the previous settings so from here you can increase the clarity and then texture you keep it maximum and then dehaze it a little increase the exposure a little click ok okay so we are going to add the black and white adjustment layer again then make sure you clip it into the image and then you add 91 negative 12 which is the yellows and then you leave everything as it is so we have a very sharp black and white image now let's go and grab the pen tool you can press p on the keyboard for the pen tool and with the pen tool you just click here come here click click come and click and you close it you close the path okay now we are going to duplicate this layer so with that selected press ctrl j on the keyboard and there we have a duplicate okay so with the duplicated layer selected you just go and grab the move tool you can press v for the move tool and then you click and drag it down like that okay so come and select the layer below that we copied and then grab the pen tool and then on the control panel you have this click here and then you select this color the color code is on the screen now you can see that the background the little one that is showing is what blue so but i don't like the i don't like this blue okay so let's go back there and then change the blue to more lighter blue okay now a little lighter blue okay all right so that's good and then we go for the ellipse tool it's in the same group with the rectangle tool okay so let's go to the layers panel and select the topmost layer and then go and right click and select the ellipse tool now let's make an ellipse right here all right so i'll place it somewhere here and then go into our folder and then bring this image which is a field so i'll drag that in here place it on the ellipse and then go and right click on the layer and then clip it into the ellipse now when you zoom in you can see a blurry stuff on the field okay so we just let's duplicate the field and then drag the one on top to cover those blurry feet over there so you control j you and then you clip this one to into the other image and then you drag it to the right so that we will hide those blurry legs on the field okay now select those two field layers right click and then merge layers so that we put them into one image or one layer now hold control and then come and click on the ellipse layer and then come and click on this icon to link the two layers together then i'll do a small adjustment over here okay so let's go back into our resources folder and then bring in this image then i'll resize it and place him on the field okay a very quick one all right that's good now let's go back into the resources folder again and then grab the emblem or logo whatever it is let's drag it in here and then resize it place it here now let's send it to the back okay so we will go and drag its layer below the layer of the new image then i will do a small resizing okay so i think we're good so we are going to add a fancy shadow below this logo so let's go to the layers panel and select the field uh, layer which is the layer below it create a new layer on top and then grab the brush tool and then make sure you increase the size you can just right click and this will pop up and you can increase it from here so I'll increase it that and click once and then ctrl t and then resize with the edge and hold shift to bend it into an oval like this then i'll drag it here and drag the edge inside again all right 
and I'll place it under the logo and I'll zoom in and then try and place it under the logo very well like this so you just take your time and do it so after that I'll select the player I'll select this guy I'll click on that then its layer will be selected then I'll click the layer below it which is the logo so I'll rename that to logo and then I'll rename this one to player I don't normally name my layers in tutorials okay so I'll create a new layer on top of the logo and then make a fancy shadow being casted by the right leg all right onto the logo so where the right leg is I'll just create a shadow if the shadow is too sharp you just lower the flow from the top here and then you start brushing to create your shadows but not too low all right so i'll just increase the flow a little and then start brushing for my art shadows okay so i'll just do that very quick so you just brush over the areas where the body is covering okay so after doing the shadows i'll just zoom out and then take the move tool you can press v and then drag click outside the canvas and drag over everything on the canvas like this to have them selected Control t and then i'll zoom out and then resize it from this edge okay just a small resize not too much okay then i'll place them at the center okay so now you're good and now we have everything selected so just click outside the canvas to deselect everything now when you click on the black and white image you have the image layer selected okay now below it is the layer of the rectangle that you clip the image okay so when i turn the visibility off you can see it takes away the image now we need to duplicate this rectangle layer okay so just hit ctrl j to duplicate this layer and select the one below okay and then ctrl t and then you move it to the right a little and then to the top a little okay and then from the properties panel you take away the fill so you click none and the second one is the stroke so you click on that and then you choose a golden color which is this guy right here then you increase the size of the stroke you can keep it at 23 all right so we have this guy here beautifully done all right so you can tweak the position now let's go and click this guy too and then the layer below it which is the rectangle you select that ctrl j to duplicate you select the one below ctrl t and then move it a little down and then to the left a little then you take away the fill and then you add a golden stroke okay then you increase the stroke size to about 23 and you're good to go so it is time to write something on this blue and black rectangle so you click on the black one to have the layer selected okay and then you on top of it you are going to create a text on top of it so you have that selected and you grab the text to then you click and then you type jude now let me drag it somewhere here but before that let me change the color to white and then the font is 28 days later i think it's a default font on every computer but i'll include it in the resources so don't worry then i'll re resize this font you can use the ctrl t then you drag the edge to increase the size and after that you hold control on the keyboard and then click on this top right edge here and then drag it up to pan it into perspective with the rectangle behind it okay so that's just a quick one now i'll hold alt on the keyboard click and drag the text below to duplicate it and then change the name to bellingham all right now it doesn't matter if it goes behind the player and the logo okay it's just we already know this guy and you've seen jude and definitely if you're a football fan 
you actually know that this jude bellingham all right as long as you see the ham see the jude and the images themselves talk a lot so you just don't have to show everything clear and bold all right and you can go ahead and use the vertical scale to scale the bellingham text vertically all right so you stretch that then you can reposition it all so we are good all right so now we are going to add the background that's going to do the trick the black and white trick so make sure you don't skip this part of the video so let's scroll down and select the background layer and then go into our folder and bring this magic background now let's resize to fill the whole canvas all right now we need to change the blend mode to hard light okay so let's go ahead and then change the blend mode of the background to hard light so we pick hard light from here now we need to duplicate the background image seven times so you can hit ctrl j seven times and you will have eight layers all together okay so let me do mine so the last copy should be copy number eight and with that one selected you hold down shift you scroll to the first background image click to have them selected right click and then choose merge layers and we have this beautiful half tone background effect okay now before i do the black background trick let's grab the text tool and type match day so before i do the trick if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel to motivate me to do more videos like this video leave your comments in the comment section below now let's go for the rectangle tool and then do some random rectangles so i'll just create the first one here and then go and change the color to this golden color then i'll create another one on top then change it to the blue that we are using okay then the top here i will just do small ones right here so you drag click and drag it gets filled with the color then you can change the color from the what properties panel So after watching this tutorial to come up with your flyer, you can join the cool graphics chat on Telegram, then post your version of this particular flyer. Okay. So this particular match day flyer is UEFA Champions League match right under our nose, which is next week between Madrid and United. <laughs> Don't find that I say United. <laughs> Manchester City. Okay. So I'll drag both of their logos in there and then I will just resize them. So I'll select their layers together, Control T, and then resize them together. So I'll go ahead and place them on the right, then go back into our resources and grab the UEFA Champions League logo, resize it to the left. Then I will paste this text right here. And once again, I want to adjust everything on the canvas. So I'll just click and drag from outside the canvas to cover the whole canvas to select everything then use the move tool to adjust the position very quick all right so i think we are good so i'll paste this last text which is the names of the teams all right and i'll drag it below the logos all right now let me do a small and quick adjustment okay so now what makes this flyer unique is that you can just switch from white theme to black theme by selecting the background and changing the blend mode to exclusion or difference now you see we have this beautiful theme wow i i, I just don't know what to say bro so you can just go ahead and change the text that's black to white okay then the uefa logo you can go to the blending options and then you just change the color overlay to white okay so that's the biggest trick i was talking about so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video kindly subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment in the comment section don't forget the resources the link to the resources is in the description kindly check it out and i'm out peace